Hey guys, it's Trish here, and this isn't gonna be like any of my other videos. Um, this is an update to let you guys know what's been going on in my life. Uh, this isn't a really easy video to make because even though I've been very safe and have worn my mask every every single time I leave my house I wear my mask even more so than I think I need to uh, even though I sanitize my hands to the point where they blister and bleed even though I've been completely safe haven't left my house unless to go to work or to go to my boyfriend's house who literally doesn't leave his house unless to go to work or to see me at my house. I did go on a little mini vacation for my birthday. I went to St. Augustine for a weekend with my family and none of them tested positive, thank whoever or whatever is out there. When we got back from the vacation a few days back, uh, I started going back to work and I started feeling really under the weather. I just, you know, had a really bad sinus infection about a month ago, so I thought maybe it was coming back. And it turns out that it was COVID. Um, I started getting, like, really bad headaches. I was just really tired all the time and if you know me you know I'm a very energetic person I usually can't sit still and I was just exhausted not you know I barely did anything and I would just be dead tired and I, I could tell something was up and I didn't know exactly what it was and then I started getting some diarrhea I started feeling really dehydrated and I knew something was off with my body. I could just tell, I could feel something was off. And I was at work and I just told them, look, I gotta leave. I'm not feeling good, I shouldn't be here. The next day I called out saying, look, I woke up in a sweat. I'm really feeling under the weather. I don't know what to do. I'm going to get tested. I went and got tested and 15 minutes after I got my test, they called me as I was in my car driving home and told me that I had tested positive for the coronavirus. And instantly I felt this wave of guilt. I felt terrible for anyone that I may have come into contact with that I may have infected myself. So the second I found out that I was positive, I called and texted everyone I could think of that I possibly came into contact with without my mask. Um, I live with my mom, my dad, and my sister. I made sure that they got tested immediately. Me, my mom, and my sister had just gone on that vacation and we were in a car together sharing drinks in a closed space without our masks on for hours. So I was terrified that they were gonna come back positive and Lo and behold, they, none of them tested positive. My mom, my dad, my sister, my boyfriend, they all tested negative, thankfully. So that tells me that I didn't get it on vacation. I must have gotten it at my workplace, whether it be from a coworker, a customer. I mean, you never know. It could have been someone that I was passing in the parking lot. It's terrifying because I have no idea who I got it from. I can't tell them like, hey, uh, you gave me COVID because at my job, I deal with hundreds of people a day. I am constantly dealing with people. I'm touching money, I'm touching cards, you know, and I mean, I could have just easily touched somebody's card that had COVID and I just touched my face or who knows? I, it, that's the thing, we know so little about this virus and I know there's a lot of people out there that want to pretend that it's not a real thing, but I've lost family to this disease, I've lost friends, and now I currently am suffering from the virus myself. Uh, I wanted to film this video a week ago, I actually found out that I was positive for COVID a week ago, but I haven't had energy to do anything like I'm in my last few weeks of my semester in college and I'm trying to get these assignments done and it's taking everything in me to just 
get these assignments done. I have finals I have to do. I have, I'm in a math class. I'm in my last math class, hopefully ever. And I have to do proctored exams and I'm just hoping that I can get by it with the skin of my teeth. As long as I get a passing grade, that's all I care about now. I, I was really hoping to get an A, but now I'm just hoping to pass uh, because my professor hasn't even responded to me. So I'm really worried about that. Um, mentally, I have not been doing great uh, before I was even before I was even tested for COVID, uh, I've just been going through a lot mentally. Um, been really down and depressed and then this happened and I'm so relieved that nobody in my family has it, but it just makes it really hard uh, to do anything. Um, I'm pretty much isolated in my room for the most part, trying to, because I really don't want to infect anybody. I would feel terrible if I did that, um, it honestly was the worst feeling when I heard that I was positive because my first thought was, oh my god, if I got my mom or my dad or my sister or my boyfriend sick, like, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. And they just kept telling me that it's okay, like, you didn't know, like, we know that you're so safe, you wear your mask more than, more than people recommend, like... I don't leave the house. I, I rarely leave the house. I leave the house to go to work and that's it. Like, I even get weird about going to my boyfriend's house. Like, I haven't been going over there a lot and it's, now I can't go anywhere. And <laughs> I'm really wanting to start this podcast where I talk about current events and cannabis and try and educate people on medical marijuana. And I had all these hopes and dreams to start it on 420, but now with this, I don't, I can't, interview I mean I guess I could I could try and set up some kind of zoom interview or something but I just have no energy like I, I I've been getting really down on myself just thinking that oh I have two weeks I'm quarantined for two weeks I have these two weeks I can do so much in these two weeks but I wake up I have about an hour of energy and then it's just zapped and I'm dead I'm tired I'm just exhausted I'm dehydrated. I'm drinking, where's my water? I'm drinking like six of these a day and I'm still dehydrated. Like, I'm drinking coconut water. I'm drinking Gatorades to reestablish my electrolytes. Like, I'm doing everything I can think of to fight this. And thankfully, I still have my taste. I still have my smell. I, you know, am starting to feel a lot of pain on the right side of my body and that was kind of freaking me out of course my boyfriend had to mention a stroke and had me all like freaking out about that mentally but I consider myself lucky I mean yeah I'm feeling side effects and they're not the greatest but I'm still here and I'm week one into quarantine and I'm going to keep you guys updated as much as I can about how I'm feeling about how this virus is affecting me um for the most part i don't want to leave bed and i just the brain fog is ridiculous like i'll be sitting there talking to someone and trying to form a sentence and then poof there goes the thought process it there's times where i'm sitting at the keyboard and i'm trying to type for my essay and just i, I don't feel like i'm controlling my fingers like it's just it's a really weird experience and I just I really want to take this time to urge every single one of you to get tested to wear your mask to get vaccinated I mean it's it's really not that hard when you consider it's somebody's life in your hands but yeah I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on uh, my current situation I am officially week one into my quarantine and I will update you guys uh, when I am at the end of my quarantine. Hopefully I'm feeling a lot better and I can get back to work and I can get this podcast rolling because I will 
officially be on my last day of quarantine on the 20th, of course, on 420, when I want to launch this podcast. And speaking of the podcast, if you guys want to support my channel, uh, the rebranding that I'm wanting to do, taking my channel, my social medias into a different direction, focusing on music, metaphysics, medical marijuana, and mental health, uh, you know, the four magic M's. Uh, if you want to support that journey, I have created some things in quarantine that might come of interest to you. I uh, am starting to make custom grinders. They are all made from epoxy resin. You can pick your color, and it's pretty grinder, right? I mean, look at how sparkly it is. But my first series came out pretty good. I did, of course, green for everybody's favorite to green for 420 and this is the circular ashtray that you can get that other one was a grinder obviously this is the ashtray and then if that ashtray is too boring for you why don't you spice it up with a little uh, 420 pot leaf so yeah I'm uh, selling these three as well as some other goodies like some custom rolling trays, some uh, resin earrings, keychains, candles, soaps, and more over on my Vibe Tribe Supply website as well as my Vibe Tribe Supply Etsy. Make sure to check out the links in the description below. Uh, I am currently having to be out of work for these two weeks, so any shares, likes, comments would be greatly appreciated. And Anytime you guys support my small business, it helps me support myself. So I really appreciate any uh, any love you guys can send my way, any good vibes while I try and beat this virus. Um, sending love to any of you out there that know what I'm going through. But yeah, I'm uh, actually wanting to do more vlog-like videos like this in the future if I have the energy. I can barely hold my hand up anymore with this tripod. But I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through this tough time and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you all so much. Stay safe, wear a mask, get tested, and get vaccinated. Love you guys.